10 Best Places to Visit in Bolivia Hello travelers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Travel Fantasy and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall count down the 10 best places to visit in Bolivia. Bolivia is a landlocked country located in western central South America. The constitutional capital is Sucre, executive capital is La Paz. The largest city and principal industrial center is Santa Cruz de la Sierra, located on the Llanos Orientales, tropical lowlands, a mostly flat region in the east of the country. This South American nation is a melting port in the real sense. The expensive country features stunning snowy peaks and thick Amazon jungle. The country's population, estimated at 11 million, there are as many as 36 distinct ethnic groups in this country, and the diverse cultures, adventures, and attractions lure innumerable visitors from all places. Many travelers consider it the favorite country in South America. If you're new here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos. The country is a paradise for budget travelers, as well as offers complete value for money. To make it easier on your vacation, the following are some of the 10 best places to visit in Bolivia. Number 10. Ruren Nabak. The charming town of Ruren Nabak, or Rur, is a backpacker's paradise. It is situated on the shores of the Rio Beni, and it is a jumping off point for many jungle, pampas, and riverboat tours that last between 1 and 30 days. The lowland tribe people here, the Takana, are one of the few who are resistant to Christianity, so the town does not have the typical setup of a central cathedral square. These days, however, it gets a large enough tourist trade that the culture mostly caters to Western tourist tastes. Number 9. Koroiko. The name of this town is derived from the Quechua word meaning Golden Hill. Its location on the side of the Andean foothills gives the resort village of Koroiko a spectacular view of loose jungle forest, tropical foothills, and jagged icy peaks. It is low enough in elevation to be warm and a great stopping point on the way to or from La Paz. Extra mountain biking is a draw here, though there are several lovely hikes in this region, as well as lovely waterfalls and hilltop views. Number 8. Sorata. Located between La Paz and Lake Titicaca, the sleepy town of Sorata serves as a base camp for visitors who want to hike at the mountains of the Cordillera Rio. The granite slopes of the Cordillera Rio lie in the Antiplano or high plains of the wildest part of the Andes Mountains. Six of the touring peaks of the range are over 20,000 feet high. Hikers come to Sorata to plan and prepare for mountain climbing treks. Number 7. Copacabana, Bolivia. This resort town on the shores of Lake Titicaca appears very touristy, but it has a long history of being a mecca for religious pilgrims. This is the place to board a ferry to the islands of the sun and the moon and to enjoy the beach of the Incas. Those who like to wander out of the touristy part of town will find pleasant hikes and great views, as well as a combination of beautiful Incan and colonial rooms. Number 6. Potosi Potosi is one of the world's highest and before its discovery by the concrete status, it was also one of the world's richest cities. The famed city of Silva was by many accounts everything that the Spanish were looking for with El Dorado, except that the metal they found was silver instead of gold. Today, Potosi is a popular place to visit in Bolivia, known for its friendly inhabitants, lovely colonial architecture, and tours of the famed mines that once housed over 60,000 tons of silver. Number 5. Sucre Sucre was once the nation's capital and is famed throughout South America as the White City. The town's central area has beautifully whitewashed and well kept buildings that are worth seeing. This is an old and wealthy city whose rise is in status and was tied very closely to Potosi. Guests to Sucre can enjoy the beautiful architecture and local museums, or partake in some fantastic day trips to see volcanic craters, dinosaur footprints, or the seven waterfalls. You will get ample time for your queries and to explore this beautiful city in Bolivia without hurrying or feeling hassled. The trip also includes lunch so that you can relish the local flavors. Number 4. Oguro. This miners' town is one of the largest in Bolivia and is best known for its lavish costumes and festivities during carnival season. The festival features thousands of dancers and musicians performing a broad variety of ethnic dances. Off season, it is a great place to experience the high peaks and is home to several good museums and the artisanal streets of Cali La Paz, which makes many of the costumes and masks for the festivals as well as tourist productions to bring home and display. You should also visit Santuario de Virgen del Sacoba, a famous church which is the fishing point of Oruro's carnival.
Number 3. Tiwanaku Tiwanaku, found on the southern shore of Lake Titicaca, was the capital city of one of the most important civilizations to exist prior to the Incas. Archaeologists have excavated only a small part of the city, but they estimate that at its peak, at least 20,000 people lived in the city. Excavations have shown that the citizens lived in separate neighborhoods, which were enclosed by large adobe walls. Other remains found in Tiwanaku include temples, a pyramid, large gates, and carvings of alien like faces. Explore this fascinating archaeological site and get familiar with the culture and history of the Incas. Number 2. La Paz La Paz is the administrative capital of Bolivia, while Sucre is the constitutional capital. Situated on the steep hills at an elevation of roughly 3,650 meters above sea level, La Paz is the highest de facto capital city in the world. The sight from the air as one flies into La Paz is incredible. First, the sprawling slums of El Alto appear, slowly giving way to the sight of La Paz itself, clinging to the sight of what looks like a large gash in the earth. Get ready to be transported to the famous witch's market, where a shaman will read your fortune. Also get close to a mesmerizing viewpoint, which is far off from the business crowds as you marvel at the city from a height. Number 1. Sala de Uyuni Located in the Andes Mountains, Sala de Uyuni is the largest salt flat in the world. It has an extraordinary flatness, with the average altitude variation within one meter over the entire area of the Salar. The expanse of salt creates an unending white landscape during the dry season, but the area is most breathtaking in the rainy season when it is covered in water. The reflection of the blue sky creates a spectacular and soaring landscape, though some tourists insist on seeing the salt. On certain seasons, the lakes in the level heat of a fluid, transforming the thin layer of water into a mesmerizing reflection of the sky. Visiting this beautiful terrain will be an out-of-the-world experience and it serves as an extraction site for lithium and salt. Your visit to the country will be incomplete without coming here. Bolivia is a heaven for all those visitors who are looking for a great yet affordable holiday destination in South America. Have you been to Bolivia before? What were your experiences like? Share them with us in the comment section. And if you liked the video, please share with your friends.